Yes, I'm going to show you how to mark these notches, how to mark the drill, the use the drill holes to mark the dart on your on your clothing, on your piece of material. I like these little pins with the small head. However, it also works for the larger head pin in there. So what you do is, is make sure that it's all laid down nice and flat and push this pin down straight through. So it goes to the other side. And then do the same all the way through with each of the areas. And this is before you unpin the dread the pattern away before you unpin the pattern. Straight down, straight down, using your hand underneath, um, mainly so you're not scratching any table. And we'll come up here to the dark, this one. Oh no, we'll do this one first. And then what I'm going to do is go to the back where the pin comes through and I'm going to then pin on this side exactly where that pin comes out. Exactly. Because that pin's straight in. There. Oh, sounds off. And then down here. And then I'm going to undo my pins from the dress. And then I'm just going to hold it all together and pull it through down here. I hold it, hold my pins and then pull it through. Hold my pin here and pull it through. and down here as well and pull, pull the head of the pin through and then after I've done that I'll separate the two pieces of fabric now if I have my front right sides facing me we then need to do the markings put the pin on the inside because that's where it needs to be um, pinned together. So we just place that pin and do a hold, a, just knowing that the top of the head, the head of the pin is the start of the dart. And then pull this one out. This one here. And push it in there. And pull this one out. And then down here we'll do the same. Just to separate them. But still keeping the pins in place. Here.
and then down here do the same thing separate them making sure that you don't pull the pin out and then swap it for the inside of the fabric and then you can then use those pins to um, pin your dart here you pull one out and and poke it through to that dart here at the, the same point as as what this pin was you pin it to that one as close as you can get it now these pins these notches are not the stitching lines they're actually six mil inside the stitching lines of your dart and the bottom ones and the top one here is around one and a half centimeters to two centimeters below the point the finish point so when you stitch you start down here and you go there and you come out six mil here and then start curving it up until you get to about one and a half centimetres up here. Um, it just makes for easy, easy sewing to do it this way. Okay. And again, you'll see that the, the drill hole is ab above the um, actual finishing point of your dart. So it's around one and a half to two centimetres that you'll stitch past this, this um, point here, down to there. And you then... Um, you'll have two points here, two notches, little split slits, and that's the neckline dart that you pin here. And you'll pin it down to about one and a half centimetres below, below um, the drill hole here and stitch them like that. And you pre prepare all these before, before you start sewing. Like so. Voila. Today we're going to make the vintage dress. Now I have a sample here to show you the finished product. This is the front and it has a lot, um, it's a knee length garment. You'll see it has the, the dart here which the belt is kept 
stitched into here and it has that U-shaped um, neckline here with the facings front and back. It has a short sleeve and it on the back, there's a zip in the back, the two darts here and the waist darts. And that is about it, very simple to make. So first off I'll show you, we're going to just do a walkthrough of how it's going to be made. We're going to stitch the belt um, together, right sides together, stitch along this line here and then pull it through. It will then get stitched, stay stitched into the this area of the dart between this point and that point. It will get stitched in there like so and to the other side. And then after we've done that, we're going to stitch the, this dart together. We're going to stitch the back waist dart, uh, neck dart here and the waist dart. After that, we're then going to prepare the, all, a few other parts by overlocking. We're going to overlock the centre back um, seam all the way up and then we're going to overlock the hemline of the sleeve. We're going to also overlock the shoulder seams. We'll um, overlock that as well. And then we get on to the sewing. So we start here on the centre back, we'll do the stitch line, the stitching of the centre back up to where the stitch is, the zip is marked and then we're going to place the zip in there. So a one, one and a half centimetre seam allowance to put the zip in to use to, to give us room to place the zip. From there we're going to then um, stitch the shoulder point line together front and back. Um, front and back and then we're also going to stitch the shoulder line of our two facings together right sides together they end up sitting like this and then we attach the face the front facing the neckline using the facings and we finish that neckline off Okay, so it's kind of like what we did with the pencil skirt, like you put the interface in and then you, I mean you put the panels together and then you put the interfacing yes. in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. So okay. once we've stitched um, these two together, we'll then overlock and it will sit like so. So the facing here has been placed on the fold to cut. What we're going to do with that we're going to actually make a notch just do a little um, notch here at the center front at this point so that and we'll also do that on the center front of the um, front panel and do a little notch point there and that's we know easily how to um, join it all together so it's going to end up looking like that. That's our front and this is our back. So this is how the facing will sit once it's been stitched at the shoulders. You won't see a seam, it will be stitched like that and sit like so and same as the other side and we'll overlock from this point all the way down. And as I've said in the um, procedure that is included, overlocking can also be zigzagging if you don't have an overlock machine. You, you will zigzag around the raw edges here. And then we place it onto the front and the back neckline. Um, and you'll see that we'll do a few little uh, 
um, little cuts into these corners here to make it turn nice and nice and um, flat easily. And we may even up around this area do a few little um, points, little um, scissor cuts to make it just fold around the curve easily and sit nice and flat. So then once we have finished the neckline, we're then going to place the sleeve in. This is done. We're going to then place the sleeve in. So the sleeve will be overlocked here and we're going to do some little two rows of gathering from this notch here to this one here. All the way through, just two rows there and then we're going to pull it in slightly. Not a lot, just enough to fit in. Um, so when we do the the um, sleeve. So we're going to put the sleeve in, we'd put right sides together. We'll be matching the underarm here, the, the notch here on the sleeve. Um, we'll match this notch here on the, the front. And then we're going to pin this notch, shoulder notch, up into the join of the seam at this point. And then you can put a couple more extra uh, pins in around here and we'll pull the um, sleeve to sit neatly without a lot of gather into it. And at the same time, we'll then do the same to the back. These notches will gather you, will match. These two notches and these two notches will match and you pin the under underarm seam, you may find that the back sleeve is a little bit bigger, but just ease it into the curve of the dress. And then we also match that notch and this shoulder notch up here, and then we'll ease this in at the same time. And then after that, all we'll do is do the side seams. Join the front and the back side seams together and then we'll overlock those together once it's been made all the way through. You'll, you'll stitch all the way from the hem of the dress all the way through to the sleeve and then down to the hem of the sleeve. Um, and once we've done that, you'll then turn up the hem of the sleeve. It's already overlocked, but you'll turn it up inside and then just do a stitching line across here and then you will hem the dress um, to whatever length that you require. You can either overlock it first or try it on, get the, the length right and then shorten it. If you have to shorten it, you will then um, shorten the, the length and remembering to leave um, three and a half centimetres on for the hem and then overlock it, turn it up and you can either hand stitch that hem or you can um, sew it by machine, whichever um, is easiest for you. And at that stage you should have a really nice dress to wear out or to wear to work because oh. this is a great, a great office dress. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or if you need, or if you're having a, a meeting and you feel, want to feel nice, or, or I don't know, give out that. What do they say? Dress, dress to um, success. to succeed. Yeah. And this would be one of those dresses that could do that. Yeah. And psychologically, it's been proven that women in this style of dress are taken more seriously. Mm. It's so sad, but mm. that's what it takes. You know, but I guess it's the same for men who wear business suits. You know what I mean? A full business suit in comparison to a... Someone turning up with shirt and chinos. Yeah, yeah, chinos. yeah, yeah. Unless you're Mark Zuckerberg, yeah. you know, so, <laughs> yeah. So it's all about, it's all about feeling good 
um, looking good and knowing that you are one hell of a woman. <laughs> yes. <laughs>